Hello everyone, welcome to another episode on the Minority Taste. So when you hear the word sambal, you have to understand that it's a direct derivative of the word sambal. Onions, moldy fish and chilies, lemon, salt. Those ingredients are a classic sambal from Malaysia. The only thing different from the samba po sambal is the addition of the coconut. Now if you want to see the recipe for the po sambal which is the most famous sambal from Sri Lanka, please do check mine and Trevor that is the food ranger's video where I show food ranger or Trevor James how to make the po sambal. I will put the link in the description box. Today's recipe is really famous with the Sri Lankan Muslims mainly because it's done with beef and moldy fish. Even a regular lunch, it's just there on the table just to add it on for that extra spice and crunch. Yum! It's so, so good. So let's get on to it. Now I'm going to show you guys the basic ingredients that you need for these two underrated, severely underrated rice pullers and relishes from Sri Lanka. Now you've got the pearl sambal, you've got the sini sambal, you've got the cutter sambal and lunamiris which is super popular especially the pearl sambal and it's supposed to be popular especially the pearl sambal because it's just ah. but however these two uh, non-vegetarian rice pullers and relishes are also equally good I would say but they're severely like thrown under the rug or not given that much of prominence not anymore because the minority taste is here to give it its due respect so let's see the basic ingredients for these two really really beautiful delicious relishes all the ingredients list will be in the description box. Please remember the ingredients may vary according to the size of meat and the moldy fish used. I'll be using a lot of onions because I'm doing two recipes. For today's recipe, I'm using one kilo of veal top side. You can also use tenderloin because we do need soft meat. You can use a tenderizer for this but I feel the fork is best because the tenderizer tends to mash up the beef too much. So put your meat in a pressure cooker and then you add a little bit of tamarind juice. Add your red chilli powder, Sri Lankan chilli powder is one of the spiciest and the best, turmeric powder salt and pepper and give the meat a proper and thorough massage. Every nook and corner of the meat should really absorb all that beautiful sauce and spices. You have to add a little water, not too much, I'm adding a little hot water. Now we're going to pressure cook it. So after about four or five whistles, it'll be like this. Now this is a very crucial step. Please shred your meat with a fork. Do not add it into a grinder because it only mashes the beef into a powder and into tiny bits. We are looking for stringy and biteable strings. Start reducing your sauce at the same time. So when the sauce is reducing, I'm going to put in my shredded beef into that so that it will absorb all the flavour. The curry has all absorbed into the shredded meat and it's totally drying out and that's exactly how we want it. We need a lot of oil so just add a lot of oil for deep frying. So you are going to fry your onions first. Thank you. 
please be mindful because the beef is already cooked so we don't need to keep it in the oil for too long this is another reason why shredding it with a fork is important because it doesn't get wasted when you grind it the meat gets wasted a lot in the oil next we're gonna add our curry leaves just put it in for a minute or two we want it crisp and green not brown now we're going to combine everything together so in a separate pan add a little oil fresh curry leaves cardamom pods a stick of cinnamon and spicy dried chili flakes from sri lanka you can add chili flakes that you like but this is the best for this recipe and then we're going to combine everything together so put in your fried shredded beef, your fried curry leaves and the fried onions and just combine everything together in low heat. Now I see a lot of recipes or modernized recipes for the beef fry but in my channel I have done thorough research in order to share these recipes with you guys. The idea behind it is to preserve these recipes for the next generation. So once you finish combining everything together, switch off the heat and let it cool off. Then you preserve this in an airtight container and you can keep it up to one month without any problem at all. Maybe even longer. It's absolutely delicious and a wonderful gift to give. Now this recipe is really quick and easy. You just need very similar ingredients but it tastes so different into a pan put in some coconut oil and a stick of cinnamon a few pods of cardamom and two to three fresh cut green chilies not forgetting curry leaves and also you can add a little pandan leaf we are going to let all that uh, aromatics infuse with the oil You have to do this in very low heat so be very patient now we're going to add a moldy fish which is grinded really well not into powder but into fine flakes if you can't find moldy fish you can also use dried sprats or dried anchovies just pound the dried anchovies or grind it into flakes. The kitchen is going to fill with a pungent fishy smell but a aromatic smell. When, when your kitchen is filled with aroma just put all the onions and the fried curry leaves. Moment and then mix it all together. Sambal is a very ancient recipe. Now you can use moldy fish or sprats or you can use it both together. This is how my grandmother would do it. And finally you have to add lime juice which is very important and we are done. You meet anyone in Sri Lanka, they'll predominate, they'll promote the pole sambal, the lunar miris, the cutter sambal and the sini sambal. However, these two sambals, the toplang sambal and the beef fry sambal is not really promoted as such although you can get it in supermarkets if you look it look for toplang sambal which is a little bit hard to find and the beef fry so you can get it in supermarkets which is pre-made and it's bottled and you can buy and take it to your own country however in Sri Lanka they don't really promote it for whatever reason but I think they equally deserve a seat at the table <laughs> So we're gonna have a little bit of the toplang. Beautiful, it smells so good you guys. And then the beef fry. Oh yeah. So see you on my next vlog on the Minority Taste with all these beautiful under the radar dishes from Sri Lanka and the world. For now.